Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Carl, welcome to another video. It's just gonna be a short video today. He says, we are going on a Blu-ray trip to a small place called Feltham. Now Feltham isn't a very big town, but they do have a fair few shops that are worth visiting. Physical media wise, not so good. There's an Asda there, so we're going to be popping into that Asda, seeing what physical media they have in Asda. There's also a small CEX there, which I've never actually been in. So that would be interesting to head into that shop. But yeah, we're going to head off to Feltham. I'm going to show you around. I'll see you in Feltham. <music> We've arrived in Feltham, it's cold, wet and windy, not nice at all. I haven't been to Feltham for long before Covid. It's pretty impressive on the shops for a small town, so let's show you around. Hello guys, go away Carly. Let's pop inside the tiny CEX. I can already see they've got a good selection of steel books, but are they really worth 20, 25 pounds plus? Who remembers this? This is what I want, the original PS1. Got Crash Bandicoot there for 25 pounds and Resident Evil over the back for 22 pounds. So many wonderful memories. I've got a District 9 steelbook for £6. The back is a bit battered and a bit rusty. <laughs> a great movie there, the original Flatliners. Very cheap at £4. I'm loving the artwork on the front of this Midway 4K. £18 low, bit pricey. Another good price steelbook, The Purge at £4. Shang-Chi at £10 in 4K, good price. And a Criterion label of The Fisher King for £12. I almost bought this one. This was very tempting, the complete three movies of The Matrix. But obviously there's a new one as well now. Good price at £4. Right, let's see what physical media Asda has. You know where this is going, we've got an Empire magazine, we've also got an Avatar book, got a good selection of kitchen Disney stuff, is that Lilo and Stitch? Katie, you'll know. And the moment I've been waiting for, da -da 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 -da, over to the physical media section. Oh. That's a big disappointment for Asda in Feltham. I'm in the physical media section, and as you saw, they only stock DVDs. No Blu-rays at all. Couple of Fast and the Furious cars, 14 pounds, not a bad price. We've also got some tiny Star Wars pop vinyls. And, oh, hello, what's that? Right, back to the car because it's bloody windy. Hello! We are back from Felton. So what did we buy on our trip to Felton? To be honest, that Asda was a big disappointment. I was expecting this huge 
Blu-ray section, that sort of thing. But as you saw in the video, they just had a DVD chart selection, which I suppose is better than nothing, but it isn't very good if you want Blu-rays, that sort of thing. Not much music there either. Quite a good selection of computer games, which was good to see, but Blu-rays, none at all. So it was a big disappointment for me. I was expecting it to be like the one in Pooley, or if you go near Big Paul's house, Big Pooley's house, Big Pooley, Big Pooley, 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 and Big Pooley. You know what I mean. If you watch Big Pooley's videos or Jamie Powell's videos when he goes to Pooley, and I've been to that Asda down in Pooley. I'm going to get really complicated in a minute. If you go to that Asda, they have, they do have a huge selection of Blu-rays in there. And I was expecting this Asda to be the same, but it wasn't. The CEX, very, very small, but they did have a good selection of of steel books in there which i thought was pretty good but they were overpriced so i didn't pick anything up in that shop so did i pick anything up in my trip to felton well we went into dunelm and we got a rug and we obviously went into asda and got a few bits of shopping that sort of thing but i did not pick up anything on my trip to Felton. I didn't really need anything what they had on offer. I did have a guy come up to me when I was filming in the car park and he was going, oi, 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 excuse me, mate. What are you taking a picture of my car for? You know, and I did try to explain to him that I was doing a YouTube video. He goes, what do you want my car on YouTube for? No, it's, no, it's a selfie, mate. Look, there you go. And I showed him my picture that I was doing a selfie, but he didn't ask for my autograph or anything like that, but he was absolutely fine and said sorry. And it was just a misunderstanding, that sort of thing. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this mini Blu-ray hunt to a place called Felton. Unfortunately, didn't pick anything up, but I will pop back there later on in the year possibly and see what that cex has if you like this video please do give it a like also don't forget to share and subscribe if you can thank you guys see you in the next video take care bye bye